They call him Joseph Mixon. Joe Mixon. And I, ha- I, own, I own no Joe Mixon. I was on the fence about Joe Mixon. He was going a little too high for my taste without seeing too much. And maybe there was a touch of bad karma <laughs> involved in that decision. Um, but Jay Wayne said it as soon as I said his name. He did look absolutely stunning. Well, when I read the stat line and I didn't see much of that game, uh, when I read the Roto World blurb, I was like, well, maybe you should try and sell Joe Mixon like in a redraft scenario because it's never going to get any easier than it just got with against the Colts. I don't believe maybe there are some worse off uh, defenses in the league than the Colts, but not probably not too many. But then I went back and watched the game and saw him cutting it up and he looked like he always does. He looked phenomenal. He looked quick and powerful and decisive, and the catching was just a phenomenal, and it just it just shot out of a cannon. So, so like, well, you can't. I'm not going to take the Colts' defense and knock him at all for that. Exactly. I don't think you should sell him. I think you should be super excited about him. So in addition to... Well, you can the, knock him a little bit for the Colts' defense. Right, but in addition to the box score love, you saw him being amazing, and so... Obviously, you saw nobody else touch the ever, ball. Basically, if you've, if you've, for if the you've been playing, backfield. if you haven't been playing fantasy football for long, and you're already into dynasty, kudos to you because you're basically skipping a bunch of the bullshit and you're going straight to the good stuff. Dynasty where is where it's at. But if you have been here for a while, you understand that opportunity is what you need, and touches is what makes fantasy points. And he got everything. Geo got nothing. Unless and you're then, Alvin Kamara. As soon as well, yeah. But as soon as the game is over. The coaches are like, oh, he can handle more. So he dominated the whole – everything that the running backs had going on. Like everything – I didn't necessarily I, – I didn't know how to value him either. Like Casey said, I was kind of on the fence a little bit just because he was already being drafted in that mid-second round startup, and he showed us not much last year. Even though what he did show us, I repeatedly said, I don't see how these people are coming out and making fun of the people that say he looked like potential Le'Veon Bell on Twitter, and they give you those light, crying, laughing, tears coming out emojis. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, those people aren't anywhere to be found. I did see him looking good last year. Yeah, but he, the Bron- the the Bengals offense was an explosion and in a bad way last year. Right, and even though they didn't explode this week against the the Colts defense like we all thought they would, Joe Mixon did, and that's all you needed to see. The usage and the way he looked in combo. If you're not in on Joe Mixon now, I don't yeah. know how you would be. Well, one thing I didn't like, and I'm surprised Jay Wayne didn't mention this, is he did take a ton of hard contact a ton like there was a couple of times where i wasn't sure if he was getting up where he he took a decent amount of of hard contact and i'm usually not super against that i kind of don't really mind it but like it seemed like he was hard contact snob right i mean usually (laughs) i'm not usually i'm like i like finesse i like to see that out of my guy i like finishing runs and but sometimes it seemed like you could have well it just seems like the freaking running back in today's nfl when they're running towards the sideline they can't just go out of bounds. They have to lower their head, which should be a penalty, and their shoulder. <laughs> and they have to initiate contact with the guy coming to force them out of bounds. Right. It's just they have to do it. I don't right. know why. I would prefer they didn't, So, but I understand it. With what Joe Mixon just did, I thought it was very impressive. Again, like Big Co said, there wasn't a whole lot to be desired on the uh, Bengals offense last year. But in spots where there wasn't, he created a decent amount. And when he did have opportunities to do what he does... <laughs> Um, he, he was he, doing he, it. He, he was doing it. Um, he 17 attempts for 95 yards and a touchdown. The touchdown was a leaping effort by him. Um, and then and what, what's notable about that touchdown is that it was like three goal line carries. Yeah, he in got a row. he got stuffed a couple times and then came back. Well, he, it was like on the eight or something. They yeah. got him down to the two or one, and they gave it to him two more times. Right. Like they didn't go away from it. They just kept feeding him on the goal line. So then, awesome. on top of that, obviously you had Tyler Eifert make it through this game. He was three for three. But other than that, Joe Mixon was second on the team in targets because I mean, really, we've been kind of talking about it all all off season. Like they don't really have anybody to throw to, which is kind of why we were. Obviously, John Ross was super cheap, but you know we were thinking, hey, maybe this could be a guy. Tyler Boyd for super cheap, really late on a deeper bench, could be a guy worth a stab. He got five targets, not not the worst, but they don't have another guy to throw it to like a Joe Mixon. Obviously, Geo could be a guy like that, but Joe Mixon's in the game. There's really not much reason to take him out. He looks awesome. Well, and, Geo is a guy like that, right? Which exactly why it makes me say. 
dang, I really wish I had some Joe Mixon. Right. Because Gio is that guy. At the end of the year last year, G- G- when Joe Mixon got hurt, Gio did what Gio did two years yeah. ago. To when start he had his season. opportunities. Three years ago, before he broke his, the fir- yeah. Three years ago, Gio's second season, before he broke his ribs, the first four or five games in the year, he was dominating fantasy football. And then he broke his ribs, and then Jeremy Hill came around the next year and all that good stuff. And it's just... But Gio can be that guy, and for the Bengals to know that, and for them to just be like, "Look at what we got in Joe Mixon," I'm, I can I I was kind of blown away at the usage split. So it's just it, Gio got like nothing, zero. It was I eighteen mean, to two, I think, was the touchdown. He had, he had one one carry and one catch. That's that's peanuts. That's um, and Mixon was on the field for forty four snaps. That's less Gio, than a lot Gio of teams. was on the backs. field for twelve. So, I mean, you know, that the disparity is there. Joe Mixon's the guy. At least it looks like week one. Um, it looks like Gio, you know, will have a little bit of a role, but it's not going to be anything to take away from what Joe Mixon's doing. Again, I don't have any Joe Mixon anywhere. It was an awesome game. So week two. Me they're, either. They're, I'm sour about it. They're coming in, and I'm, I'm definitely going to be trying to go buy Joe Mixon. You're going to have to overpay a little bit right now, but... Uh, maybe it won't be overpaying. You can get in a so little you're early. A, but you're buy high. You're, right. buying, you're about to buy so, high on Joe Mixon. But week two at home, but it's Thursday. Yep. He just came off. And he got the a, usage a, a that Alex usage, Collins did not. A decent usage kind of guy. Maybe poor defense. Now they got the Ravens coming in a right, strong defense. Right. So maybe I'm not saying that Joe Mixon's going to be bad and you should bench him. Obviously, you got to play Joe Mixon yeah. every week from here yeah, on out just week. with the PPR floor alone. But it could be not quite as good and just maybe not make the stock go up any further. Yeah. So maybe you could wait until after this next game to go shooting your offers for Joe Mixon. Perfect point. It's not ever going to get easy to buy Mixon again. Right. It, he would have to literally blow his knee out to get cheaper right now. And I don't even but, know if that would. Yeah, maybe not. But the, yeah, it, it's not. This is go why there was argument that he could have been the number one draft pick. For last year's fantasy draft, right, and, and, and you know, talent. of course, yep. people backed off of that, and then everybody was kind of pretending like they didn't say it all the way through last season because it wasn't coming to fruition. But there would have been a ton of people being like, "See, I told you so." Yeah, exactly. So, I love what you just said because there, there is very, very small chance that the price for Joe Mixon is higher next week than it is this week. There is a likelihood, not that it's going right. to go down, sure, but it's not. It's it's it go like yes. Thursday night against the Ravens. He could have a, 128 yards and three touchdowns. He could go back out. He could go out there and shred, but it's more than likely a better chance to get him a little bit easier. And it's not even maybe cheaper. It's just that the guy would hit accept. That you know what I mean? Like yeah. it, I, maybe even what you would have to pay for Joe Mixon a week from tonight is the same. But the guy sometimes There's just a little more doubt or, right. or just less like you can't oh my buy, God, look, yes, right. you can't buy you can't buy Alvin Kamar. You can't buy Michael Thomas. You can't buy any of the forty pointers today. And I know Joe, Joe Mixon didn't have forty, but he had thirty. Right. You know what I mean? Like you can't buy those the week after. And sometimes just seems like a decent setup to maybe just wait a second. It, uh, yeah, just, before throwing out the even, offers for him if you want them because I want them. This is what I've been. I looked at it and I was like, this is my opinion of what I exactly how I would approach it. So there's a lot. There's a lot of trade talk comes out of my mouth and sometimes y'all make fun of me because of the offers that I say that I would throw out but a lot of times the offers that I do throw out are as good or better than anybody is actually getting for said player I, I throw out acceptable offers a lot of times do I go fishing sometimes sure but sometimes I go right for what I'm looking for and in, in, in my eyes I would give more but what I threw out was actually an acceptable offer mm-hmm. and sometimes when I get to the point where a guy said no three times in a row to acceptable offers and I keep pushing the gas pedal and I keep throwing out to even to a point where I'm more than uncomfortable and I'm overpaying at this point and I know I'm all in and I shouldn't even do it he still says no and that's the position that Joe Mixon owners are in today right. you can offer offer more than retail price and they're going to say no they might say yes after a little bit less of, of an not, awesome game not awesome them. game and especially just a, maybe thursday just a good night, game right, right a thursday night everybody's spot, watching everybody could be sluggish the offensive line could come back out looking rough and that they was could be that tired. was the big you know the, the offensive line got much better from last year to this year for the Bengals. and the offensive line gets better when you play the colts sure it just happens but on paper but, they got better they drafted a center no, yeah 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 I they brought that. in I uh what's his face from uh 
the the, the, the bills they right. brought in the bills. Cordy Glenn. Go, they, yeah, they they got better, but I'm just saying you also get you get a second step of being better when you play the Colts. But like Jay Wayne said, now you play on Thursday night, and now you're playing the Ravens and an ace and a di- straight up division not you know rival punch you in the face. So maybe next week is better for Joe Mixon purchase. Agreed. All right, well let's take a quick commercial break. And we'll get out of here with that abbreviation. You love the abbreviations. We'll be back with more. The abbreviations. <laughs> Married to the game. There's not really any abbreviation I could put there. MTTG. <laughs> Solid. 